Hello, this is Sid Bourne. Uh, you can find me at bourneprogramming.webs.com or at coderisland.com. I'm one of Sydney's one. Um, this is the second uh, episode in the coderisland.com Visual C Sharp tutorials, uh, and I'm going to be going over uh, how to create a fading form effect. Um, and this is what our end result will look like um, when it closes. It will fade out slowly and smoothly, and then it will be gone. So uh, what we're going to do is open Visual C Sharp. I have Express Edition, but you can use any edition, uh, and create a new project. Windows Forms application, and name it Fading Form, and press OK. Okay, we're going to need a few things uh, to get us started. First thing we're going to need is to come over to the toolbox and grab a timer and drop it into our form. Then come over to the properties window. Make sure the interval is set to 100 and that it's not enabled. Now go to the form properties, events, and go to form closing and double click it. And this will open our code view. Um, the first thing we need to do is we need the code to be able to tell the form when it can close or not. So create a new bool and it can close and set it to false. So when the form goes to close, we have to check, say if can close. And in here we close, but we want it to do something when it's not going to close. So we're just going to put a not, uh, an exclamation point in front of the can close uh, that specifies a not. Um, and we're going to say e.cancel equals true and timer1.start. And this will start the timer counting down um, and adjusting the opacity. And when the timer's done, it's going to change can close to true and then close the form again. So go back to the designer and double click the timer. In here, we're going to put this dot opacity minus equals 0.05x. What this tells it to do is to decrease the opacity property by 0.05 and the F specifies that this is a float, uh, which is just telling it that the decimal point should be read at the decimal point. Um, and then after it's done that, we check if the opacity is less than or equal to zero. And if it is, can close equals true. And then this dot close. So after it so uh, decreases the opacity, it checks to see if the opacity is fully transparent. And if it is, it tells uh, the form closing that we can close by setting can close to true. And then it closes the form. So if we run this, you will see that it does exactly the same thing as our. Uh, as, uh, demo did, um, and I'll show you what this is doing uh, line by line. And again, you can run by pressing the debug button or by pressing F5. So when we close the form, the first thing that happens is form 1 form closing runs. And it checks if it can close. Uh, in this case, it can't close. So it cancels the closing and starts the timer. The timer ticks every 100 milliseconds, and each time it ticks, it takes the opacity, decreases it by 0.05, and then checks to see if it's less than zero. In this case, it isn't. And it'll cycle. 
until it is less than or equal to zero. Changes can close to true, and then closes. Since it can close, skips over that, and the program exits. Okay, I well, hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Uh, you can find more at CoderIsland.com, and again, I'm known there as Sydney's One. <laughs>